Hi, my name is Chong Fang Cheng. I'm an associate professor uh, at Lamar University. I'm working on a project, you know, focused on the community health assessment research, and collaborate uh, co collaborated with the Perry View and M University, and M University, and a lot of uh, other academic institutions, um, you know all together with the local partners together. And today we want to have this uh, public conversation event is to bring a discussion with the communities and to learn more about you know, the air quality, um, maybe air pollution, and also the general health for, um, for our community citizens and residents. And it is very important to bring up this communication is because a lot of time our research are very focused academically but then reach out to the community, you know, to learn what exactly the story and also the dynamic of their health situation and the air quality in general. So uh, in addition to uh, this conversation to learn about the community, citizen, their stories, we also want to provide the opportunities uh, open to the public, to the citizens that uh, to join you know, our research and to participate our research and learn more about how to detect the air quality so that we can improve the community data in general, that this data will release to the public. Okay, is it for everybody? It's not only for academics. It's for the community stakeholder. You know, for policy making uh, makers when they thinking about the needs of the community, they know what money should be put in where. That's a very important part. So um, that's the major purpose of our event uh, tonight. Well, thank you. I'm a sociologist and um, mm -hmm. I'm very honored and I'm very proud and I feel so delighted to have this opportunity. Um, and one of the reasons why we um, I am so happy to be able to um, be a part of hosting this event is because we know, even though we don't do a lot of the diagnosing in community health, but our patients that come to us um, suffer from health problems that are related to poor air quality and to poor um, conditions here in Port Arthur. We've lived it, many of us have come from areas where we have had um, chronic diseases. Many of us, um, myself, have gone through cancer, um, rare cancers, and sometimes we don't pinpoint exactly where it comes from. So we know that a lot of it can be environmental. I'm, I'm almost correct. <laughs> and Dr. Early, or, or Edgerly. Early. Early. Okay, and I met, we met right when we first moved in the field, they chose to actually stay and hear the presentation and to hear the announcement and the information that you're going to put out. But I also have um, one of our school board trustees, Mr. Um, Jacory uh, Norris. You know, uh, what we're doing and then to bring the community in and tell us what we should do so that we can, we can improve you know, and tell the policymaker to put their money, their resources in our community. What we've been doing today, we have these objectives. And our aim is to do the introduction which has been done. Then we'll talk about the project aims and objectives. That is what I'm here for, to do quickly, that we have community member consent that will be handled by my colleague, Dr. Helly, and there are some activities that we are expected to participate in. All right, so the project have five aims as we have proposed. One of the things that we plan to do is to strengthen community partnership. This is where we will be working on for the past several months to achieve uh, health equity. The second aim is to engage the community, to engage you, because I said 
this project is covenant relationship. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma because there are so many times where all we focus on is the data, all we focus mm -hmm. on are the numbers, mm -hmm. right? All we focus on is the study protocol, right? But if we want to make change in our community, we have to learn how to build a relationship Absolutely. with each other, right? So when we're talking about research, we ain't talking about just any kind of research, right? We're not talking about the Google surveys that you get, the email, the junk email, you feel me? Yeah, when you go to Bible, when you go to church, when you take your kids to school, meet with other parents. So we ain't doing just any kind of research. This is a little bit different. This is a lot of bit different. Help us disseminate, share the data, and help us translate that data into action. I tell people all the time, data is nothing without interpretation. We want to be able to be in a position to take action. And the only way we can do that is if we learn from you, right? This is a two-way street. This is a relationship building process. Oh, yeah. 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 Health concerns. Health concerns, environmental concerns. Okay, okay, I have an extra, I have an extra thing. Yes. No, no, no. One, one, one person. Yep. Can you repeat that? The burning of marsh land in our area is sometimes it's so bad. You can't, you can't even drive. You can't see to even leave my, my home. Certain communities and not others, right? Or more than others, right? Mm -hmm. So that's it's really important that you bring that up. Thank you. What other concerns? We coin people now with the law of manufacturers that affect the people's hearing. Wow, mm -hmm. are there Bitcoin farmers here? Not here, but oh. other places. But okay, even the refineries with their lives. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear. I want to hear. Like, I'm, I'm gonna, I want to hear what's going on. Can you explain to us about TPC? Oh, oh. they regulate, but they don't. Wow. Yeah. Yes. And oh, so wow. Our homes. Yeah. Okay. That you can't really get you know, drink from. Yeah. 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 Yeah.